Uh, hey everyone, in this class we will talk about uh, how to clean a sketch and fill color. So first of all, open your sketch and after that uh, you can uh, remove these colors by desaturating uh, it. Uh, so for that, let's open adjustments and here we have option desaturate. So let's hit this and now you can see it's uh, black and white. And now uh, we can remove some dirt by using levels. So again, we have levels here in image adjustment and we have level. So you can see this pop-up window here. And here we can play with uh, these uh, uh, cursor. Uh, so you can see it's uh, making white. So this is a, this area is for white and the middle area is for gray and this part is for black. So if you want to make it white, play with this one. Okay. So let's make it white and also I want to add a little bit black and I don't want too much dark. But yeah, I think this is perfect. But yeah, you can play with the, these three and you can adjust uh, according to your choice and play now uh, hit OK. And there you go. Now we have it. And we need, we still need some cleaning. You can see we have some dirt here and uh, at the bottom and we have some extra lines so let's do clean up so for that uh we need first make sure you have default color black and white here and if you don't have plus uh, uh, press d key for default colors and after that you can select your brush and uh, make sure you have hard round brush and uh, uh, make opacity down to 90% and first zoom in so you can see the dirt and you can start working on it by using brush tool here. Yeah. So let's me clean this and I don't want this extra line here. And also, I'm scrolling down to see this extra dirt. So let's remove this and yeah, there you go. Now, next thing, uh, like you can see, we have some gaps. So we need to fill those gaps. So how we can fill. So for that, uh, we again need brush tool. And this time, uh, we need to choose the color, same color. So we need eyedropper tool. And let's select a color from here. And now you can check your brush. So in the same color or not. Okay, so a little bit light. So again, yeah, make sure you have five by five average instead of point a sample, okay? So let me choose this. And make a really small gap. Now I can use this one or I can make it a little bit dark here. Now it's looks fine mm, yeah let's make it 100 and jump in to see the lines you can access this hand temporarily by pressing spacebar and now 
take your brush and start work. Still to make it a little bit smaller and I had gap here. Yeah, you can see my line is not straight. So in this case, what you can do, uh, you can just uh, uh, first click. Now you have one point and now press and hold shift key. So you can get a straight line. And now you can see it's better. Okay, again, just point, press and hold shift key. When you are doing a straight line, and here also I have some gap. I think now it looks good. And yeah, there is a one way we can check like we have an uh, we don't have any hole. So how we can do that? So here is the trick. So first select your, uh, yeah, first you need to zoom out. So let's do fit screen for now. Yeah. And after that, select your magic wand tool and select this white color okay make sure you have contiguous selected and now you can see we have some gap here that's why it's selecting this part okay so we need to work on this so again Control D to remove these marching ends and let's grab my pen tool and I need to zoom in and now I can grab my pen and I can close this gap. Especially uh, at outer line, we don't need any gap. Okay. So let's close them and maybe this one also. And now let's check it again. Again, zoom out and let's grab your magic wand too and select this white color. And now you can see just outline is selected and it means we don't have any gap okay now we can fill color in this so let's control d and start coloring so before uh, we start coloring uh, first give a name to this layer so uh, double click and name it sketch And now I need uh, like seven or eight layer for each part. Okay, so let's make layers. I think for now seven is sufficient. First, uh, move your sketch part at the top and now give name. Uh, like double click and you can Give me both. After both, we have shirt and we have belt, we have pen, and we have lining and the uh, yeah, shoes. After shoes, next what? Yeah, we have hair, and we need one more layer. Okay. 
Okay, so it's a good habit to uh, give name to each layer so you can uh, identify that layer. And now come to the sketch layer. Okay, so um, suppose now we are on sketch layer and uh, it's normal, okay? And now come to the coat and try to fill this red color, okay? So we can't see this color, but we are filling this color, you can see. But this sketch layer have some white area so which is hiding uh, the color but what we we have here so what we can do first control z to remove this color yeah now we don't have it so go to the sketch layer and in the blending mode it's multiply okay and now lock this layer. I don't want to do paint on this layer. So let's lock this and come to the coat. Okay. So whenever we fill color, we always keep in mind if we have uh, two layers, like one layer is shirt and another layer is coat. So at this line, we need to be careful. But here at outside, we can make our brush bigger and we can just color, okay? So, and this area, okay, first change the color. I don't want this red colors. Yeah, I have some colors here. So let's uh, select this, the chocolate color, okay? Or brown color. And start. Um, yeah, I can zoom in so I can see the line. And you have one more thing it's a hard brush. Make sure you have hard brush selected here okay, when you are coloring. I think we can keep 100% opacity here. Yep. Still, I don't like this color, but it's okay. Just press it for straight line. And Yeah, one more thing which I forgot for each layer, uh, we need a, a layer mask, okay? So go to each layer and create layer mask. Okay. Yeah, so why we have this layer mask? So if we make any mistake, we can, remove that okay so that's why we have layer mask so I'll now come to the coat again and now make your brush really big and feel free to do color. So let's do really quick.
There you go. Now we finished it and this looks fine to me. And now come to the shirt and choose a different color. Let me grab maybe red color. Yep. Make it big. Yep. Now come to the pant or maybe before pant we can finish belt. Yep. Oh I need this color for belt. Okay, so choose that color and zoom in. On this area and now grab your brush again and start working on it color let's zoom out so i can see yep now this looks perfect and let me clean this mask so it's a little bit tricky but not too tough come to the sketch layer and select your magic wand tool and make sure you have contiguous selected and now you can see we have a outline around our sketch. So now go to the each layer and press delete key. So you can remove the extra stuff. Okay, go to the shirt, delete, lining, delete, shoes, hair, delete, face, delete and now we have this sketch now you can do control d to remove these marching ends uh, now we finished our coloring part now come to the shading and highlight so for that we have two tools tools in our toolbar or uh, uh, like here uh, so we have one tool it's a uh, burn tool so burn tool we use to give uh, shading and those tools for give highlights so let's try these tool on each layer so start with coat and yeah make sure uh, you have this soft brush and also make sure your exposure it's about 20 to 25 Yep, and let's make it a little bigger and let's give some shading here.
Yeah. So now we already finished uh, shading part. Now come to the highlights. So for highlight, we use uh, this dolls tool. Yeah. So again, make sure you have soft brown brush and exposure down to 25 or 22, 23. And now start highlighting. So we'll start with the coat. And finally, face. All right. Yep, it looks good to me. And we finished our shading and highlighting. Uh, now, suppose you want to uh, change the color of the coat and uh, suppose your company or maybe your client, uh, they want this coat in different color, maybe in purple color. So in Photoshop, it is possible you can change the color in non-destructive way. So how we can do that? So for that, go to the layer. Like if you want to change the color for uh, this coat, you can uh, use this layer. If you want to uh, shirt in different color, we, we go to the shirt layer. So first go to the coat layer. And here we are creating a adjustment layer. And this is the way we, we can change the color in non-destructive way. So here we have huge saturation and one thing uh, which is really important we want to affect only this coat layer okay so if uh, you don't check this okay and you can see it is affecting the whole thing okay so control g i don't want to affect the whole stuff so i want I want um, the purple coat, okay? So just make sure you have this check. And now if you move this cursor, uh, you can get the, you can get different color. Like suppose I want this purple, I can move this, uh, you can change the saturation if you want. You want a more bright, you can go somewhere here, light or dark, okay? So it's your choice, but yeah, you can change the color. Let's try on the shirt because I have shamed, I mean, red shirt and red lining. So I want to make my shirt, mm, let me see. First, make sure you have checked this. And let's make some, yeah, green, maybe I like green or yellowish or, yeah, I think, yeah, this is fine for me. So you can change the color of your shirt. If you don't like, uh, yeah, the pant is too dark, so let's make it lighter. Again, make sure this is checked. And I want
Yep. So this is the way we can uh, change color in non-destructive way by using hue saturation layer, okay? I don't like this, so let's remove this. Yeah, this looks good. Thank you.